um, tough luck tonight. Did you did you think that was a foul, or did you think that was a block on that last three pointer? Yeah, she got fouled, but I mean, they wouldn't have called it on the other side either. I, you know, I, the officiating, it, you know, it is what it is. We just have to play through it and play around it, and um, not put ourselves in that position where a call or a non-call makes a difference for us in a game. I thought she got hit clearly. Um, but should we have been in that position may be the bigger question um, that we have to ask ourselves based on way, the way we played this 40 minutes. So We've had quite the adventure with officials the past two days. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it, you know, whatever happened yesterday, um, I think that's something we'll have to dig into when we get to the end of the season uh, in the spring in our spring meeting and talk about officials and, and, and how games are assigned and all that. Um, the goal was just to get the game played. And so, you know, just grateful that we were able to get on the court today and have a crew that showed up for us. So, um, but yeah, that, that, that is a first for me um, and probably something that we need to talk about and discuss a little bit as a, as, a, as a group of coaches when we get into our spring meeting. Well, in the fourth quarter, it seemed like uh, Shanice single-handedly wheeled you guys back into the game. Just a, she went on a tear of like nine, scored like seven out of your next ten points. Yeah, yeah. She, you know, she did a great job offensively. Um, had 26 tonight. Our, our, obviously, we scored 82 points. Our issue wasn't offense. You know, we, we didn't guard them at all. And that's disappointing. This was a team that when we played them at their place, we held them, I think, to 42 points. We didn't shoot the ball well, but we guarded them pretty well. We rebounded well in that game uh, and were able to get a win. Um, they're playing better right now. We're not. You know, when you, when you look at where we were at that point in the season and where they were versus where we are now and where they are, um, you know, when, when you lose basketball games, you've got to make a conscious effort um, to stay locked in, to continue to trust what you're doing, um, to stay together as a group, to stay positive. Um, I feel like we've done some of that. I don't, I'm not sure that we've done enough of it. Um, and I just thought today, particularly the way we started the game, uh, we just looked flat, particularly on the defensive side of the ball, um, understanding what we needed to do to get stops. Um, you know, I told them at the end of the game when we got to stop to send the game into overtime, you know, the fact that you can get a stop when you have to have one means that you can get stops. It just means that the rest of the game, it wasn't important enough to you. Um, because when there was 14 seconds on the clock and they had the ball to win the game, we got to stop. Um, and so I just, you know, why we haven't been able to bring that mindset and that tenacity to the defensive side of the ball, um, you know, most of the season. Uh, is, is probably something that I want to sit back and evaluate and figure out how I can help us be better moving forward. They took the lead on a second chance basket. Yeah, yeah. Um, 13 for 14 from the free throw line in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, they shot 30 free throws, we shot six. Uh, you know, I, there, there's some disparity there. Um, but at the end of the day, like you said, I thought it was free throws and I thought it was second shots that, um, that we just didn't do what we needed to do. Uh, and at the end of the game, late game, um, when, you know, those scenarios that you work on that you talk about and you've got to understand and focus on what you need in that moment. And like I said, like you said, we, we did a decent job forcing the first shot, gave up a second one, and, you know, and that ends up, that, that, that kind of ends up with being what beats you. Well, Coach, you got another game tomorrow. What do you tell your team? Just how do you guys gear up for tomorrow? Well, I think we do what we've done the last four. You know, we've dropped four in a row now. And so the conversation has been – you know, we've got to stay up, we've got to stay focused, and now the focus has to shift really quickly from Young Harris to Augusta. And we've got to, you know, put a game plan in place. We've actually got to come back in this evening and go over the scout and the game plan for Augusta um, and see if we can um, sit this one aside for the moment and focus on the one that's in front of us so that we can see if we can try to get this thing back on track.